Hi, how are you? It's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in the season of Discovery. Last episode, we collected some quests for Dead Mines, and we have one more to get. So let's have a what chat here with you? Korean Stout Mantle. Did Master Shaw shed any light on things? Edwin Van Cleef. I know the name well. To think that a man so industrious and talented could turn into such a scoundrel unnerves me. I'll need further proof before I believe this. We need to discover the location of the Defias hideout. Adventurer, my scout reports that a Defias messenger has been seen on the roads between Moonbrook, the Gold Coast Quarry, and the Jangalode Mine. I want you to capture him. If he resists, kill him and bring me whatever he is carrying. All right, so here we go. Let's go find the Defias messenger. Supposedly, he spawns down here. So we'll start there. And we'll see if we can find him. We did see him cross us over here when we were questing. He ran right by us, but we we didn't have the quest at the time, which was too bad. Yeah, hope you guys are doing well today. I had a pretty good day. I watched a couple of uh, NFL football playoff games. Well, I watched Lions and 49ers, so I didn't really catch the Ravens and the Chiefs. But man, those uh, 49ers, they came back. I was rooting for the Lions, though. Because I am a Rams fan. And the last thing I want to see is the 49ers win a Super Bowl. But they were able to come back. The first half, the Lions were just completely wrecking them. And... Then in the second half, everything kind of just stopped. 49ers D really picked it up, and they were able to, able to catch up and eventually win by only three points. It was pretty funny, too. Eminem was there giving uh, 49ers fans the finger. <laughs> oh, that was kind of funny to see. And then the Chiefs game, I, I seen some highlights. Good defense by the Chiefs. They were able to hold the Ravens to only 10 points. And then all the Swifties were happy to see, you know, the Chiefs win. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. It would have been cool seeing Eminem versus Taylor Swift in the Super Bowl. But yeah, we got 49ers Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Two, two teams that have been doing pretty good the last few years. Chiefs have made it to the Super Bowl four times in the last five years, which is uh, pretty damn impressive. It's like an all-time great team right there. So while we're waiting for the messenger to spawn, I, I found his body. It's right over here. Seems like he gets farmed quite a quite a bit. Okay, good. His body just despawned. So we should just wait for him to spawn here, I guess. I think that's our best the best thing for us to do right now. He was right here with this Defias looter, but I guess his body disappeared. Next episode, we will be jumping into dead mites, guys. So I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be a lot of dungeons from now till level 25. So I think I'll be doing um, dungeons multiple times. I'm not too sure. 
back. Not too sure where uh, a level Misty Mountain Gaming's uh, kit character is. At. There he is right here. Nice. Got him. But I'm going to do some, some dungeons with him too. I think eventually he'll be... He should be 17 soon. Alright, so we got a mysterious message. The suit covered note contains some cryptic text. Black nails. The sea awaits. We need your supplies from the north. Strip everything. Every railroad, pike, every water bucket. We need metal. A shipment is due from Booty Bay, but long overdue. Come through for me, Black Nails. Send your supplies directly to the barn this time. No time to squander, Van Cleef. All right. Well, there we go. We got the information. But we are going to head over here and see Grimboo's Thunderbrew and turn in five hops to him. Yeah, this is where we met uh, Pally Kickass last episode, aka Flava Flav, your boy. Before I went to go check out his channel, I was like, could you imagine this is actually Flava Flav? I don't know if you guys know who Flava Flav is, but he was uh, a rapper back in the day. You would see him on a lot of commercials in the 2000s where he's like, yeah, boy, or <laughs> just stuff like that. Stuff like that when I was like a kid. You could imagine a lot of celebrities play well. Talk to me. Hurry, my friend, move with haste in order for our rich lager to taste more like beer and less like stew. Hops are needed to make the brew. Hops and barley, yeast and malt, the taste buds feel a virtual assault. No need to plead, no need to beg for thunder brew lager comes in a keg. This guy can run. Hurry, rhyme. my friend, move with haste. In order for our rich lager to taste more like beer and less like stew, hops are needed to make the brew. Okay, so we made the brew. Increases stamina by three. He's got five charges. That's awesome. We'll save that for the dungeons. And I know I do zoom in. I think I, I had a viewer comment about that. I don't think I don't know if I'm zoomed in too much, but sometimes I am zoomed in a bit because I I tend to have a habit of zooming in on the NPCs we're talking to. Sometimes I guess I forget to to zoom out. Maybe I should stop that. Highwayman speeding the crap out of us. I think I'm zoomed out enough. But I am always trying to find ways to make the videos better. I've tried to reduce the amount of jumping I do. I do notice that I still move a little fast with the camera sometimes. Like if I want to look behind me, I'm just going to like quickly turn around. I'm not going to do that to make you guys sick, but I, I, I have a habit of doing that. And I can understand that if it, it could give some viewers motion sickness. Because I'm not a, you know, I'm not a keyboard turner. I'm a mouse turner. <laughs> but... Keyboard turning is actually pretty good if you are uh, trying to make an immersive play playthrough. Because it's not as hard on the, the eyes, I guess you could say. 
All right, so back to Sentinel Hill. Got some people hanging out here. There's the messenger. I wonder if that's the one we slayed. Seems like that guy's waiting for it. I wonder if that was too fast right there. I didn't go too quick there. That, <laughs> that mouse, mouse cam returned. I'm trying to be more aware of that. Because I'm... I, I had a habit of, like, I jump a lot. I like to jump. Like, even when I'm raiding, there's, like, old videos of me, you know, like, 10 years ago. Not on this channel, but when I used to raid, someone had a video, and we were doing the Spine of Deathwing Heroic 10-man, and I was playing my rogue, Freddy Crittler, and, um... I was jumping the entire time I was doing my DPS. <laughs> my DPS rotation. Like, I was just spamming spacebar for no reason. That's just, I guess because I'm just, I don't know if, I don't want to say I'm bored, but it's just a habit. It's a habit I've, I've had in WoW for a while. But I've toned that down quite a bit. Sometimes I forget that, you know, I'm making I'm making a video. All right, so here we go. Need help? Greetings, Father Trav. Were you able to gather any information? Did you locate the messenger? This is indeed firm proof that Van Cleef is in charge. Oh wow! Now all we need to know is where the Defias gang is hiding out. We've had a stroke of luck while you were gone. We captured a thief trying to steal Saldean's wagon. He has promised to lead us to the hideout in exchange for his life. I want you to defend the traitor so he can reveal the hideout. Return to me once you have uncovered the location. Where's the traitor at? So we have a quest. We still have a Defiance Brotherhood quest here. I assume the quest well is met. from Protector by, by Allen. Okay, so these guys all have the quest. I wonder if these guys are going to go into dead mines after. Hi, how are you? Hi, thank you. Hi. <laughs> there we go. We got the quest, guys. Follow me, bro. Dree. I'll take you to the Defias hideout. Well, you better protect me or I am... Good, as good as dead. You share the quest. Please. He started it. Already. Well, oh, looks like that guy didn't get it. Too bad for hunties. I, I, I'm pretty sure we got it. I remember clicking yes. Yeah, there we go. We're escorting him. Got a pretty good gr group here. Two rogues. I don't think the warrior is a tank. But I think you can tank dead mines with a two-handed weapon. You don't really need a shield. You may die. There is a higher chance of you dying that way, but it is possible to get through that dungeon if your tank doesn't have a shield, I think. I can just put him on follow. Look at this guy. He's a snitch. The defiant snitch. He's the reason why the Brotherhood failed. We are going to be running out of the Boon of the Black Fathom, so we may be heading back to uh, Darnassus just to, to get 
to get that back up again. The entrance is hidden here in Moonbrook. Keep your eyes peeled for thieves. They want me dead. I wonder why. Honestly, don't even consider the Defias Brotherhood to be that bad. They, they, their intent makes sense. Like, they were getting ripped off by the crown. And they're just fighting back. That's kind of the, how I look at the story. I don't know the story very well, but that's how I understand it. Because they were orig originally the stonemasons. And then the crown was like messing with them and ripped them off. Supposedly there was some infiltration from the black dragon flight or, or a dragon became like a, a high ranking magistrate inside of uh, Stormwind. And that caused, and I think she might've caused a little bit of drama with the stone masons. Forget who it is, though. It could be Anixia, maybe. Maybe Anixia did that. I'm, I'm not too sure. I know a little bit about lore, but it's pretty. It's pretty vague. I wouldn't say I'm like that. Like I know that much. <laughs> but I think that's the gist of the story. So I don't really consider the Defiance Brotherhood to be that bad, but they are bad. You know, they came to Westfall and they took innocent people's farms away from them. It's pretty scummy. But they had to do something, I guess, to build up you know, a place where they can build their militia. Alright, so there we go. That's done. We just gotta head back to Sentinel Hill now. We have 10 minutes on our 20% speed buff. And I think this may be the end of this quest chain. I think we're going to get a, a red bandana's quest, which leads us into dead mines where we have to collect bandanas of uh, Defias Brotherhood members. I like that about World of Warcraft. Not all bad guys are just, you know, it's not just black and white, like good versus evil. It's it's a lot of gray. There's there's some, Most you know, excellent adventurer. that are completely is as evil. Good as ours now that we know where he is hiding. Like the Burning Legion. And there is but one task left for you to complete. Edwin Van Cleef must be assassinated. While it saddens me to condemn any man to a death sentence, it is for the greater good of the people of Westfall that Van Cleef is laid to rest once and for all. Bring me the villain's head once the deed is done. All right, there we go. Do we have another quest here? I try to keep Sentinel Hill stocked, and that's not easy with all the action we see. Scout Riel. Where the heck is that guy? So we have Captain Protector Dutfield. I guess uh, they're probably at the top here. If you're a scout, I would assume you're at the top of the tower. Forgot about this.
It's no secret that the trademark of the Defias gang is their red bandanas. There we go, guys. But we've learned that the material from which these bandanas are made signifies the members' rank. That being said, I want you to eliminate as many high-ranking Defias members as you can. The highest-ranking members will undoubtedly be found in Van Cleef's secret hideout. When you're done, bring me ten red silk bandanas as proof of their deaths, and I will reward you. Good luck, adventurer. There we go. Alright, so now that we got all that done, I'm gonna... Head over to Darnassus. We'll make our way over there. And I'm gonna get buffed up for this dungeon. Hopefully we don't die too early. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> we just die and lose the buff. But I want to have it. I think it allows us to do bigger pulls if, you know, I have a buff like that. And I just like moving at this speed. I'm a little... I wouldn't say addicted, but it, my character just doesn't feel the same. Like, if I don't have the buff, I just... Whenever I play Season of Discovery, I'm always trying to get this buff on my characters while I'm playing. Especially during this phase. Next phase, it won't really matter that much because, you know, you're going to hit level 40 and then you have a mount, right? But during this phase, when there's no mount, movement speed is key. I'm happy that they added movement speed to that. And looks like we just missed the tram, guys. That always happens to me, man. We always end up missing the tram. And I hope they have a buff for Nomergon. I assume it'll... If, if, for Alliance, it'll be dropped in, in Ironforge, which is pretty cool. And for the Horde, I guess maybe maybe they'll make it Undercity. That'd be terrible. <laughs> Undercity's not bad, but I'm not a fan of Undercity. I think it's the worst Horde city. But I still think it's better than Darnassus. I think Darnassus is by far the worst. There's like one mailbox in Darnassus, and it's right next to the bank, it seems like. And it takes a while to get to. Like, if I wanted to get to Undercity, I just go to Ogremar, like, and then take a Zeppelin. Like, for me to get to Darnassus, I have to, like, get all the way over to the wetlands, take a boat over to Aberdeen, and then another boat <laughs> to Darnassus. It's a lot of traveling. And I've tried to cut that down in this playthrough. Like, I've tried to, to not show as much of the... The trap... Well, I wouldn't say, like, me getting... The, pretty much I've cut out sometimes me getting the buff. But today's episode's a little short, so... I guess we'll, we'll show the journey. I always enjoy the tram ride, though. I think the tram is one of the coolest things that the Alliance has to offer. It is cool how you can just... Take a tram ride from Stormwind to Ironforge. Eventually, they add, um, for Horde side, they add a Zeppelin ride to, to Thunder Bluff. I think that's in Wrath of the Lich King. But I still think the tram's more fun. And when I was, I was younger, I used to come to the tram on my undead rogue, and I would gank alliance <laughs> because because I thought it was just such a cool place. I was kind of envious of the alliance that they had, like a cool subway system like that.
I think that's like one of the cl the classes that a lot of kids pick is rogue. Like every kid wants to just gank. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you're young, you just want to go out in the world and just gank people. And then that gets old pretty quick. Eventually you get over that and then you start playing other characters. All right. So, yeah, I went the wrong way. Reminiscing about the past got me off track. There we go. We lost it, guys. <laughs> I can tell right away when we lose the buff. Rick, the wild hammer dwarves might have fast steeds, but can those airy pink griffins stand the heat of the great forge? I think not. All right, off to Manithil Harbor. I was on Twitter uh, a day or so ago, and I, I was seeing. I, I follow WoW. People talk like WoW stuff on Twitter, and people were showing their tier list of uh, their favorite WoW expansions, like from best to worst. And a lot of people put the the first. Uh, well, they put they put um, classic. Legion and Wrath of Lich King. I've seen a lot of as the best. I played Legion. Legion was really good. Legion kind of saved the WoW for a bit. It'd be cool to do a Legion playthrough on the on the channel. I think I might start doing that. Like just um, check out other expansions. Yeah, Legion was great. And it kind of saved WoW because got people out in the world with world quests. But that got kind of old after a few <laughs> expansions. After Shadowlands, people were just sick of it. And then they brought in the, the game mode Mythic Plus, which was a hit. I don't know how it's doing anymore, though. I haven't really done Mythic Plus in years. That looks awesome. Reminds me of Uldar. Ulduar. <laughs> when you're fighting uh, Algalon. I sometimes mech, like mess that, uh, that the name of that raid up. I call it Uldar. But it's like Ulduar. You have to like kind of pronounce the U a little bit. Looks kind of awesome. I think uh, the Burning Crusade should be up there too, though. The Burning Crusade was pretty good. That's a t I had a lot of fun playing the Burning Crusade, and I never played it as uh, like when I was younger because I I started playing during Wrath of the Lich King. 
So yeah, I'm a, I'm a Wrath baby. It's like when a lot of people started playing WoW. <laughs> because they had all those commercials with like Mr. T. You know, the I'm an Orc Mohawk. And then they had uh, a lot of like celebrity commercials going on. They were really pushing the game. This was South Park was making episodes about it too. And that was a great time to play. It was a great time to play, but they were honestly they were changing the game. The game was changing quite a bit during that time. It was going away from their the classic roots. And it was turning into more of a an end game focused kind of game. That focus, it also focused more on individual play rather than like having to group up for stuff and and socializing with other players. Like right now in Wrath of the Lich King, you can honestly just queue up for pretty much everything. Even the raids. Kind of. You kind of have to socialize a little bit for raids. But there is like a group finder you can use to get yourself into a raid group. And it's good they added the Dungeon Finder to Wrath of the Lich King because it it is it is nice to not have to, you know, <laughs> like have to like chat it up with somebody just to get get into a, a five man daily dungeon you want to get done. And that's what makes Classic so different. There isn't really a daily dungeon you have to do. You just have to like get the gear from it or like out level it and then you're done. And you move on to the next uh, challenge. I think that's what they're bringing back into retail is just like, you know, there's a, there's a finish point, right? Is it during Legion Battle for Azeroth? I think Wad 2 was in that. It, it would just never end. You could always keep on powering up a, le a legendary item. They always had like a system to keep you, I guess you could say, on the on the treadmill. They're moving away from that now, which is good. I, I haven't really got to experience much of Dragonflight, but I've, I've heard it's all right. It's not bad. Supposedly it's better than Shadowlands, so I guess that's a win. A lot of people consider Shadowlands to be like the worst expansion <laughs> ever. I thought it was it was okay. But I did quit early. I quit after Castle Nathria. But it would be cool to go back into Dragonflight just for a little bit see what they see what the final iteration of that expansion is like so we might do that guys I got a monk playthrough so we're probably gonna be low I'm gonna be bringing that up soon it's a lot of wow <laughs> that's for sure we got that that coming we also have phase two coming season of discovery I think I have already decided to play the lock because I have some unfinished business on them. I got to get the metamorphosis ruin. But if I do come back to, to another character, I, I will I will give the priest a go. Priest will be like my alliance character for Season of Discovery. There hasn't been any announcements about um, Solo Self Found Hardcore, which is the, I guess you could say the, the original version of, of Hardcore that the Hardcore community created. 
don't even know if they created it. Like, I guess you could somewhat call it a version of Iron Man. And what Soul of Self found is it's pretty much just you leveling by yourself from 1 to 60. You can't do any dungeons, you can't join any groups, you can't use your mailbox, accept any mail, accept any trades, and you also can't use the auction house. So you can only really get gear from just open world drops and quests. And it is quite the challenge. Especially, you know, farming gold and getting bags and stuff like that, it's, it's tough. I did that on my rogue. And I didn't even realize I was doing it. I just realized that later on that I just never joined any groups. And the reason why I didn't join groups because I didn't trust anybody. <laughs> I think I do a dungeon with. Because a, a tank can kill you. If he pulls too much stuff, you're good chance you're going to die. I think we got a little duel over there. And there we go, guys. We have made it to Darnassus. It is raining here. Also, Darnassus is the only city in all of World of Warcraft that doesn't have a place for you to smelt. <laughs> Smell your ores. I always thought that was interesting. I guess we're, we're just hanging out here. There's a lot of people here, though. Decent amount. Maybe we will get uh, a buff to drop soon. Maybe not. But I will be hanging out here until that happens. I guess we'll head over here. We'll sell some stuff. Maybe the drop buff will drop while we get rid of some stuff in our bags. It is interesting seeing this many people in Darnass still. <laughs> that is kind of rare. I honestly might make it to our, uh, our earth spot. This potion seems to heal less damage every time I brew it. Though I use the same ingredients, there can be only one conclusion. The plants are changing. I cannot say why or into what. Can get one cooking level. Small furry paws. People actually buy those. Be careful. I wonder what those craft into. Oh, someone killed a squirrel in Darnassus? They should be sent to jail. <laughs> It'd be cool if they had Skyrim style NPCs. You know, like guards in cities. Like if you like say slay critters in Darnassus so your reputation goes down with them and they kick you out of the city alright so let's head over here we're gonna talk to innkeeper Salien yeah every critter's like dead <laughs> everyone's just killing critters here <laughs> oh look at that it's a wisp Your body looks worn and your spirit weary. Rest yourself beneath our roof and allow Elun to guide your dreams. Yeah, this is an inn. No mailbox. This is the inn. One bed. Everybody shares it in the city. <laughs> it's such a... It's the... I don't know. Tarnassus seems like a city that they just slap together quick. It looks cool, though. It has a it's a cool concept. 
but uh, I think the layout could have been thought out a little bit better. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to call this episode here. Next episode, we will be inside of the Dead Mines. And we'll be doing some dungeons. But, as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Later.